Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next instalment for the Stars and Strikes series. This series was created by Julie. Julie is nobody's beauty guru here on YouTube and I'll link her channel in the description box down below along with everyone else who's doing this collab with us. Um, I did have some input into the creation but most of it was Julie's so we will consider it Julie's baby. I do have a playlist of all the different categories that we've done so far and I'll link that in the description box down below as well. This week we're going to be talking about nails, so it'll be the best and worst of everything nail related. I want to first start off with some tools. I've not tried any posh tools in terms of like, I've never tried tweezer man or any of these high-end tool type people. Um, I just have my holy grail nail file and it is this this is the a glass nail file and it is by margaret dabs london just looks like that um so this nail file i actually got in a advent calendar it's just become my holy girl since then like it's just amazing it files down it doesn't make your nails feel weird and it's lasted ages as well so okay so base coat my favorite base coat is the nails ink nail care base coat I love that base coat. I love what it does for my nails. I love that it gives a little bit of a shine as well. So sometimes I can just do the base coat and it'll just like like having a clear polish on my nails, which is quite nice. And it does increase the longevity of your nail polish as well. One base coat I'm not a big fan of and I won't get again is the OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. It just looks like it, that in the clear um, original formula. I've not tried the nail mv ones so i don't know if they're any good but the natural nail base coat from opi is not good it just it doesn't last a long time it doesn't increase the longevity of your nail polish and it it doesn't dry down quickly it's just not a nice experience to deal with that so the top coat my favorite holy grail of all time all life nothing will probably ever change that is Seshvit, but Seshvit is has some chemicals in it which are not so good for you. I know that a lot of people are saying, well, everything's a chemical and in like some quantities nothing's good for you and all this sort of stuff, but there are certain things that I like to stay away from. So I then traded it out for the Glisten and Glow HK Girl, which isn't as good but it is pretty damn good and this is i think five free so that means that it doesn't have five don't ask me which five but it doesn't have five of the considered bad chemicals in it so whereas seshvit would have those five ingredients in so i enjoy this that it's better for you better for you if you i feel like it's better for me and i think that's that's the whole thing about natural products, isn't it? It's like, if you feel good using natural products and you feel better, then you should keep doing that. And that, that is what it is, is I feel better about myself and in my, within myself if I avoid certain chemicals. So I do feel an effect of it. Whether it's placebo or not is a different matter, but we're not gonna get into that. Anyway, this is a really good top coat. You should get this, especially if you're if you don't like the sesh feet or you um, are trying to go sort of the more free type version of stuff. This is really really good, and it doesn't shrink your nail polish when you put it on either. Bad base, a uh, bad top coat. I apologize for this. This is the OPI top coat. It kept, these two came in a set, right? They came in a set like that. And this was originally clear, just like this one was, but as you can see, it's now pink tinted. That's just because it's a tint stain from one of my nail polishes. But this takes forever to dry. It doesn't have a shine and it doesn't increase the length of your top coat. So it increase the length of your nail polish. So to me, I would never get either of these again. I would never get this pack again, so. I'm using those up, like I'm waiting for them to be finished. I'm just dying for them to be finished. 
Nail polishes then. So I have the Avon Magic Effects Molten Metal line. I have multiples of these. I didn't get every single one, but I have 90% of them. It's a textured polish and you just shake it up and there's no, there's not really a base to it. It's just tons and tons and tons and tons of shimmer fine shimmers there's blue in this one this is blue steel in this one there's like blue shimmers silver shimmers and they mix together and it's completely opaque in two coats but it makes like a really nice shimmery it's not holographic it's just really shiny and and it does have a slight texture to it it's really really nice polish they're all like that as you can see there's one next to it on the wheel there that's the gold one i finished that one up I enjoyed that one just as much. This the gold color is my favorite color, um, and I have on this wheel. I have this one here. That's the more brownie steel gray color. So I really enjoy these polishes. And if I was still getting Avon, I probably would get them again to be honest. But there we go. If you get Avon and they still do these, try them because they're so good and because they're textured and they don't really have much of a base to them. They dry super quickly as well. Another great line of polish is the Rimmel 60 Second. These are, I think, around 2 249 299 something like that. And I think Rita Ora has done some collaboration with Rimmel in terms of these. I don't know if she's completely coined all of them now, but she has done quite a few of them. I really enjoy the shades that these come in. Some of them are opaque in one coat, some of them not so much, some of them take three, four coats, but that's very, very rare if you get a dud like that. I like the, the um, wand as well, because it has a wide brush. I don't know if you can see, like it's a, it's a wide, wide brush as opposed to some of the, some other polishes where they have a thin brush. I much prefer the wider one. I really enjoy these nail polishes. A nail polish that's a dud. Well, I have two here. I have the Model Zone uh, Glitter Gel, and this is in red carpet. I really enjoy the color. I really enjoy the formula, but this chips super quickly. And it's a jelly base, so it doesn't chip. It, like You can peel parts of it off of your nail. And that happens on like day two. So it takes a lot of, you need to keep reapplying if you want to keep your nails for a long time. And this one, this is the Head Candy Bora Bora by Model Zone. And this one is interesting because it's a gold shimmer and it's definitely a topper. You wouldn't be able to wear it on its own. Even in like three, four coats, it's still not fully opaque. But it, as a top, it dulls the polish. Like, let me show you on the wheel. So this is it on its own. That's three coats there. And this is with it on top. Do you notice how the, go the gold, which was a metallic, is now j a little bit dull? So you definitely need to put a top coat with it, but I'm not sure why a gold shimmer would dull a, a nail polish. Um, uh, to be honest, I've not tried it with top coat. I've just noticed that on the wheel and I'm a bit like, oh, I might, should I even try and use this up or should I just bin it? Is it just a dud polish? Anyone who's tried this, let me know how you use it. I might try it with the top coat and like report back to you, but you'll probably find it. If I do declutter it, then you'll find it in a declutter or an empties anyway. So I'll update you then whether or not I like it. And the last one I have three of. The last one is my favourite brand of nail polish of all time. And just shake these up because they separated a little bit. And my favourite nail polish of all time is Essie. I think they make the best formula of any nail polish I've ever tried. Some, some of these are opaque in one and they last a long time on the nail as well. They're similar to the Rimmel 60 Seconds, but I think these are slightly higher quality. So I'm happy to pay the extra money for these rather than the 2 dollars for the Rimmel ones. And I've got three here because I picked out my favorite shades. And as you can see, they're all like dark, dull, wintry, 
well not winter i'd say more fall to be honest fall shades so we have like a khaki olive green a navy blue with like a um green tinge to it and this one is like a grayish uh grayish brown color so that's master plan is that one exposed is that one and bobbing for baubles is that one unfortunately i don't have them have them on the wheel to show you but you'll probably see them at some point when i wear them on my nails because as i said these are probably my three favorite colors from essie i do enjoy some of their shimmery ones but i overall generally even with other polishes i much prefer a cream to a shimmer so that's why i picked these as my three favorite shades and essie is my favorite brand as i said and that's everything for this video. Don't know if that made any sense to anyone. I feel like I was just talking for 12 minutes and none of it made any sense. So hopefully it made sense and you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you again next week with one of these because as I said, this one's late. So I'm really, really sorry that everything's coming up late. I am truly sorry and I'm truly working my hardest to get videos back up on time for you. I'm going to have to pre-film a ton of stuff at the weekend as well as catch up with other things at the weekend because I'm away for a couple of weekends and it's just going to be absolute madness in the month of December. So I'm going to try and pre-film as much as I can and catch up with what should have happened already. I have some things that are, I know you guys don't care, but I'm just giving you an update on like what's happening. Some of the videos that I filmed are waiting to be edited, so they are filmed and they're waiting to be uploaded. Like I have my, uh, the Cupid's bow was up late because that was waiting to be edited for a while. I have a weekly makeup basket that should have gone up last, th I think it was last Thursday it should have gone up, um, but it didn't go up. Or... Oh. Yeah, last Thursday should have gone up, but it didn't go up, so it's going up this week, even though it's been two weeks since the last week. Anyway, I promise, at some point, we will be back on track. Thank you so much for bearing with me. Thank you so much for your continuous support. I do have a ton of new subscribers as well, which I really, truly appreciate. I'm up to like 130 at this point, which is insane, because... I didn't think one person would want to watch me, let alone 130 of you. So thank you to everyone from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that if you're not subscribed, you do choose to stick around and join the madness. We're a great family here. So click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.